weeks. It's been quite a while since we've done any wine videos or home brewing videos. Um, but I've got Nigel with me and we've we started three batches back in the 28th of July and they've been waiting in these fermentation buckets since then and uh, now they're ready moved on into demijohns. What did they call those in America? Cowboys. Yeah, okay, yeah. they are folks. And um, what, we're, what we're going to do is, we've got, is it the two gallon we're doing? Uh, we've got a two gallon batch and then two identical one gallon batches. Right, so which, because we what we're going to do folks, we're going to put finings in one of them and not in the other. Yeah, so we're using the one gallon batches for that, so we're going to have a gallon in there, a gallon in there, finings to one and not in the other one. Yeah. And hopefully we'll see a, a big difference in how quickly they uh, they clear. Okay. So right we're, then, Nigel. Yeah, we're not going to use a siphon today. I'm, I'm just going to um, pour the, the wines into here using these big funnels. Yeah. So I'll do that now. We're in no uh, rush time-wise, so... Uh, um, I've, I've, I've still got bottles left from last year, so basically, let me yeah. hold it for you. Can hold that, and yeah. I'll just pour them in. So, what I was ba basically trying to say is there may be um, debris in, that, in these. Um, we're not about being too precise at the moment. Smells lovely, Nigel. Yes, it smells very fresh and very fruity. Mm. I think that's about it. Yeah, we're about short. We're a bit little bit short of liquid here, so we'll have to add some um, apple juice, I think. Right. Yeah. That's it. Yeah, but that looks very good. Ah, don't forget, these are more than a gallon. Oh, are they? Yeah. Well, we've got to top them up well. Otherwise, we'll get the spoilage at the top. Okay, but these are because these are. Oh yes, you've marked one here. Look, the gallon is to there. That's four, yeah, four point six. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we're going to have to top it right pretty up. much, you okay. know, right to the top. Otherwise, we're going to get some okay. damage through oxidation there. All right then. Okay. Yeah. Right. Put that down. Right. There. Are we going to stick the label on this before we do anything? Oh right yes, on? that's a good idea. So right, we know so which is which. We, we already did the labels on the um, fermentation buckets and so it's all ready for us all the details what went in so we just stick them straight on and this way there's no getting confused we believe we made a little bit of a boo-boo last year because uh, some wine it basically came out clear uh, and it got strawberries and some. It was completely else. colourless, wasn't it? Yeah, and, 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 uh, we, we don't <laughs> think we think we've labelled it all wrong. Yeah, so uh, we're going to be trying a bit better with labelling now. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, next, the next one is that one. Get the right okay. This one feels a bit heavier. Yeah. Mm. Now, as you said, it's been about nine weeks, nine or oh, a bit more than nine weeks since we last, since we did this. Normally, you only need to leave it for what, a couple of weeks, isn't it? Uh, yeah, but basically, yeah. because of illness in the house and that, everything's got put to the back burner. That's it, Nigel. Okay, thank you. Yeah, that's fine. A few bits went in there. It doesn't matter because it's got, got to be wrapped got a few it. times yeah, anyway. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Right, now the finings. I've not used finings very often in the past, but this is it. To see what um, they're made of. Yeah, so we've got fi wine findings A, uh, which is silica solution, and then we've got wine findings B, which is uh, crushed, crushed shells and, and um, sodium metabisulfite. This, one of these actually does do five gallons. Oh, does it? Yeah, 23 litres. 
Ah, so in that case... Well, we just use it, that's what I did. Yeah. But when we come to the two gallon, we can just use one in there. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Right, so, uh, hang on, have got any scissors or something yeah. sharp here? Yeah, I'll put it, thank you. Yeah. yeah, do you want to cut the corner Which off? one are we doing? Uh, a, for, a, a first. A first, yeah. And we're going to have what? Yeah, just in, in, just in this one. Just in this one, yeah. yeah. As I said, folks, we're all about experimenting. Uh, some of the, those of you who are um, avid winemakers may not uh, appreciate the way we're doing things, but it's been done like this for experiment experimentation and just to have some fun, isn't it, Nigel? Well, that's right, yeah. Make no. it a bit more amusing for no, us. I'm just going to uh, wash my hands here, because I'm going to shake that to make sure the fine finings is well mixed right. in. Now we have to leave this one hour before we put B in, don't we? Yeah. That's yeah. Right. Is, there so, a, is there a towel? Oh, yes, there is. Yeah. So we're going to put that um, just there at the moment. Right, we'll just give this a bit of a shake. These are plastic um, ones, what we're using. Uh, great success last year. Uh, I had no trouble with cleaning them. Um, they came out just like new. Um, so we're continuing to use them again this year. Yeah. Best way of shaking a solution, if you can, invert it, get a big air bubble at the top and just do that. There we go. Shake it in well, mixed it. Put a little drop of uh, water in there, in the airlock. This is clean, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. What time? No, I haven't. No, that's all right. Now we've got roughly the same levels there, so that's okay. So we'll top those up soon with apple juice. I'll give this other one a bit of a shake as well. I'll go down if I tap it or not. How much have you put in? Well it, it's got bubble. Oh I think that'll be alright. That'll be alright. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'll give this one a shake as well so we've treated both of them exactly the same. In case you're wondering folks, this, this top bit will be to stop flies, insects. Right, yeah, but you don't, you don't. But it is, but it's loose, so the, the... Yeah, that's right, it's got to be, it's got to be loose, otherwise it'll just fly off. Yeah, yeah. Bit in there as well. Oh, are we adding, uh, we've got to get apple juice, haven't we? Yeah, oh. yeah, we'll get some of that shortly. Yeah. I don't think we've got any in stock, have we, at the minute? No, no, I mean, a trip to the, uh... Yeah, that's fine. So we'll add um, solution B in a minute, or, or in, in an hour. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Perhaps uh, we could add, should we add, uh, in that meantime, we'll be able to, uh, I'll be able to nip down and get some apple juice. Yeah, 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 we could do that, can't yeah, we? Yeah. Uh, and we can, now we've got this two gallon one to do. Yeah. Where are we going to put that? We've got two more damage on this, that's good. Shall we um, do a separate video or shall we do it on this one? Um, what do you think, folks? It's a pity they haven't got a voting um, button. <laughs> I'm just thinking, shall we do a separate one? <laughs> what do you think? No, we might as well do it all no, in the same no, one. Let's, uh, let's do it now. Yeah. Right, we want a, a little drop of water into those, Julie, so we can rinse them out. They're clean, but they yeah, just they've been sterilised. But um,
In right. case you're wondering, folks, all the wine we made last year was a success, but none yeah, of it yeah. went funny. Yes, it was. Yeah. There's a little bit that still hasn't cleared, but uh, it, it all smells good and it's all going to be yeah. um, used. Well, it wasn't so. just the wine, the, the actual cider and the lager. Yeah, they were good, that reminds me. We need to, yeah. I need to get some more of that for, yeah. dad for the yeah. winter. Yeah. Now, on this two-gallon batch, there is quite a lot of floating yeast and a little bit of fruit debris on the top. So uh, we can't put it straight in the damage on. We've got to use a um, what do you call it a sieve to just skim off the surface. Yeah. So I'll do that off camera. I don't think uh, you yeah, okay. see that. We'll be back in a minute, folks. Okay, folks, we're back again. We're um, just going to do the two-gallon batch now. Uh, this is not. We're not going to use any finings on this, are we? Uh, no, I don't think so. No, unless we have, it, it we'll see how it so goes, goes in time. Yeah. Um, but not at this stage, anyway. It's a bit unwieldy, this is. Keep, keep, keep it keep it, yeah. Yeah. Keep, keep it level, and then it'll be fine. Okay. Sorry. So we'll do this half full, then the other one half full, and then top up. Right. Probably about there then. Yeah. Yeah, sorry I, I splashed you, it was a it was a bit close to the top. It's a nice bright red. It is. Okay. Yeah, that's yeah, fine. fine. I was going to say, um, we're getting a move on, folks, um, because I've got ninety pound of fruit in the freezer. I'm not going to be able to use it, or I haven't got the space to uh, convert all that amount. Um, but the plan is that we're going to uh, probably get. Um, a good few gallon, maybe um, for a, a maybe we might get about ten gallons going today. There's a little bit more possible, yeah, but not very much because we've got some sediment. Yeah, that's it. Is it now you? Okay, that's not bad. No. So we'll need half a half a pint of apple juice in each one, I guess, and then top okay, it up with a bit of water. Fine. So yeah. Um, so and Good. we need those for those as well. Yeah. Right. Okay. Okay, folks. So, so that's it for, for for the moment. We'll be back in a bit. Hello, folks. We're back again. Uh, Nigel's been down to the Billy shop, and we've got mm. some apple juice. And um, we've got the, the two gallon batch of wine here. Uh, we've also got the two one gallon ones here to top up. Um, perhaps you can just, uh, for those who haven't watched our videos before, just explain yeah. why we need to top these up with apple oh, juice. Oh yes, you can, you can see here that there's a, quite a large air gap at the top of the damage on. And you can't leave um, a damage on in that state because there's a, a lot of surface area here and a lot of air at the top. And what will happen is you'll get a layer of yeast forming at the surface uh, and it'll cover it with a sort of white film and then the wine will start to go off. So you have to make sure that whatever container you're, you're uh, fermenting in there is not an air gap at the top. So we're going to fill this right to the top here so that there won't be any air damage by, well it's not really air well, damage. We're going to basically the higher you go up the least surface area there is. That's right yeah. 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 Yeah fermentation is a strange process but you have to be really clean and you have to make sure that there's not any trapped air in any vessels that you use for a prolonged period of time otherwise it does start to affect it. Uh, so what we're going to do here we've got two litres of uh, apple juice we want half a litre in each uh, we're not going to guess the amount, we're going to measure it properly, so I'll get the um, measuring jug 
If this apple juice had been standing in my cupboard for three months, I would carefully pour it off because the, you often get sediment at the bottom. But this is a new one, so it should be okay, it should be clear. Oh, it's not clear, it's slightly cloudy. Perhaps there is some sediment. Yeah, you really want to make sure when you use apple juice, you always pour it into a jug. Don't pour it straight into the brew, because if there's something wrong with it, you'll spoil the brew. Yeah, it looks alright, it's slightly cloudy, but I think it's meant to be. Right, so that's... Now, can I see the markings on here? One litre. So I've got to pour it, pour it off until half of it's gone. I mean, to put a marker on there. Oh, yes, please. Help. Yeah, because it's not very visible, is it? It's... it's well, yeah, 500 look there. There? Yeah. That's it, good, thank you. I'll try and keep out of the way so the camera can see what I'm doing. Can I need more than... Okay, and then we'll top the rest up with uh, with water. I must say I'm not very keen on these the demi johns that are more than a gallon because you have to keep putting stuff in. I hope it doesn't dilute it too much. I don't think it will. No. I must admit, when I was when I, the wine what I made last year on my own, yeah, I never bothered topping it up. And was it okay? Yeah. What? I didn't add anything to it, or I just left it. I just followed the. Yeah. Well, we'll keep a close eye on it, and um, if it starts developing this white film on the top, we can put a bit more in. Yeah. But that's greatly reduced the surface area. Now we'll do the same on the other ones. You'll notice where I've got everything labelled up this time, folks, and that's so we don't get confused and it's all labelled up properly. Um, it's when you're using blended wines made up of several fruits, that's when um, you can easily have a bit of a lapse with your brain and write down strawberries instead of uh, rhubarb or whatever. And the, the other time you can go wrong, the other point where you can go wrong is when you're racking from one damage on into another and you forget to transfer the label over. Yeah. Or, or you use a bit of sellotape and you stick the label on and of course it's not so easy to move it and so you forget. Yeah, yeah. Um, right, let's go for the second one. Can you, can I pour that one in there, yeah. Julie? just had a sip of the wine, one of the wines we made last year. I can't remember which one it is though, it's a clear one. And she, Mum and Dad like it very much. Oh, that's good. Is it, it might be a rhubarb, because that's not got much colour. It could be that. Mm, it could be a peach. Or it could be... Oh, well, the peach was quite well. light, wasn't peach. it? Peach, there was... Yeah. Yeah, I noticed this year the grape crop isn't very good. I think the spring was um, too cold yeah. and too dark and too wet and uh, a lot of the fruit didn't develop very well. Right. And so we're making a lot of marrow wine this oh. year because there's going to be a shortfall if we just right. make the grape wine. Still 30 gallons what you're making this year. I think it'll be less than that this year. Will it? 
Yeah. So I don't think there'll be much more than 10 gallons of, of the grape wine this year, which is no. a bit, bit of a shame. We usually get about 200 pounds of grapes altogether from the different sources that we've got, and uh, it looks like this year there will only be about 100. Right. So that'll be enough for about 10 gallons. So that's it uh, for now. Um, sugar's already been added earlier on in the stage because we did it all in one go. Yes, yeah, so that's three pounds per gallon. Yeah. Yeah. Um, right. So we'll be looking at the um, the two identical gallons, one of which has got finings, one fairly hasn't. soon. We'll keep an eye on those, and when yeah. we see a difference, we'll come back and you'll see another little video. Okay. I'm not sure how we're going to put these two. We'll have to. I'll probably, you'll probably be watching this bit of the video twice, folks, because we we recorded both the two lots of wine, and then we've combined it into this one. So we'll probably have the same bit onto each. So you'll have to excuse that, folks. But we're going to get on with some more now. Um, we're going to just start preparing the next batches. So it's just going to be a matter of getting the fruit out into the. Uh, fermentation buckets, but we'll see you in a minute. Anything you want to say? No, about? not at no? the moment. Okay.